Your Honor, I rest my case. Thelma Todd appeared in two feature films with the Marx Brothers. Come here, brown eyes. Oh, no, you're not going to get me off this bed. I didn't know you were a lawyer. You're awfully shy for a lawyer. You bet I'm shy. I'm a shy for a lawyer. Well, then, what do you think of a negative? I know, I know. You're a woman who's been getting nothing but dirty bread. She served as a replacement for Margaret Dumont, their usual female lead. I want excitement. I want a hot... You sing a high, huh? Yes, I have a falsetto voice. That's a funny. My last pupil, she got a false set of teeth. Well, maybe for the first lesson, it's a But despite her short career, Thelma Todd was a very prolific actress, appearing in over 100 films in less than 10 years. In addition to the Marx Brothers, she worked with Charlie Chase. Uh, Miss Todd. Miss Todd. Yes. Uh, you look like an old Rembrandt. Well, you're not so hot to look at yourself, dearie. Oh, excuse me. Joey Brown. I like it. It's a nice home. Harry Langdon. Have you got a bathroom here? Wheeler and Woolsey. We should have some place where we can just sort of uh, get together and talk things over. Buster Keaton. Why, we already have such a place. My office. And Laurel and Hardy. Oliver, darling. Hello, honey. I just dropped in there to tell you I'm giving a dinner party tonight at 7. I invited the judge and his wife and all those people that will be so helpful to you in your campaign. Well, you won't be able to go. You won't be able to go? Uh, uh, he needs, dear, that we were working late tonight. And, uh, we, 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 well, I'll be right there. <laughs> yeah. And how is Mrs. Laurel? Oh, fine, thank you. I'd love to meet her sometime. Neither do I, too. Uh, uh, no, the success of Laurel and Hardy led to producer Hal Roach casting Thelma opposite Zazu Pitts with the hope of recapturing Laurel and Hardy's chemistry with a woman comedy team. Thelma and Zazu would make 17 films together before Zazu left the studio. Why, this little old car is such an insignificant... It's a cheesy little thing, that's what it is. Why, it's people like you that make taxes go up and more hospitals. More policemen. Say, is that Palooka trying to flirt with me? Why, I beg your pardon, officer. Hm. Do you happen to know who this Palooka is? My name is... Uh, her father is the lieutenant of uh, police. Not Lieutenant Finnegan. Uh, yes. Uh, this is Miss Zazu Finnegan. Well, 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 well. Thelma was then teamed with Patsy Kelly, with whom she would make an additional 21 shorts. Studio calling. Well, uh, well, it must be answered. Oh, do you think so? Of course, answer. Oh, now. Oh, I'm caught. Oh, I have to get the key. What, again? And you promised me you'd be careful. I broke my promise. Thelma Todd's life was sadly cut short when she passed away under mysterious circumstances at age 29 in December 1935. Two days after she was last seen at a large Hollywood party in honor of actress Ida Lupino, Thelma's body was discovered behind the wheel of a car in the garage of director Roland West and his wife, Jewel Carmen. Thelma and Roland were the co-owners of a restaurant called Thelma Todd's Sidewalk Cafe, and the two were having an affair. Although her official cause of death was ruled an accidental carbon monoxide poisoning, there are some who believe it may have been suicide or even murder, with suspects including Roland, Jewel, or Thelma's ex-husband, Pat DeChico, whom she had run into the night of the party. The exact details of Thelma Todd's death remain unknown over 80 years later. Although her film career is often overshadowed by her tragic and bizarre death, Thelma Todd was a prolific and talented comic actress. 
sharing the screen with some of the greatest screen comics of all time in films that are as entertaining today as the day they were released. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, Miss Kelly, yes, if sir? you please. 